Hey guys, I'm Dima. I'm Andy. You couldn't make it today, but we are Marshall Club! For quite some time now, a lot of you guys have been asking us for tutorials, and today, we make your dreams come true. Now, I know YouTube's got billions of tutorials on all kinds of stuff. I didn't want our tutorials to be anything like those. So for our very first tutorial, we wanted to give you guys something a little different. We didn't want to give you guys the everyday average tutorial. We wanted to give you guys something a little more Marshall Club-esque. So for this tutorial, we hope to give you guys a little more history and a little more culture. Now, a lot of thought went into what we would do first for our tutorials, and um, I think we found the perfect move. Yeah. Dragon whips his tail. Like a lot of things associated with Marshall Club, Dragon Whip's Tail kind of started off as something of a joke, but uh, as we started doing it and it started getting traction, it, it just kind of became a thing. Now the name Dragon Whip's Tail is a common phrase in Chinese Kung Fu. It pops up in all kinds of styles and describes a whole, all kinds of things. Um, that doesn't actually describe this move, but we decided, hey, tricks have names, and we decided to name this move Dragon Whip's Tail. After all, uh, we do believe that martial arts tricking did originate from martial arts. So as practitioners of Chinese martial arts ourselves, we like to express our roots when we trick. So the idea to use Dragon Whip's tail in martial arts tricking came to Daniel in a dream. He was at a tournament and he was watching a competitor and he thought he was going to finish the move with a tornado kick, but he actually did it with a cheat seven and that blew his mind. My, my life was like never the same after that. Dude. Yeah, so that's kind of the background on the move. Now on to the move itself. In tricking, we have actual tricks and we have transitions. Now some transitions like Narabang and Audubon, they have multiple hits. Think of Dragon Whip's Tail as one of those transitions. Dragon Whip's Tail comprises of three parts. A skip front kick, a low whip back kick, and a misleg tornado kick. Step one, lead by pumping your left knee and doing a right snap kick. Upon extension, slap the instep of your right foot with your right hand. Immediately after the first slap, execute the second kick. Without rechambering the first kick, your kicking leg has to switch places with your base leg. Turn your waist to your right to facilitate your left leg flicking up. Slap the sole of the left foot with your right hand. Without placing your left foot on the floor, continue pivoting to your right and rechamber your left knee the way you would when doing a tornado kick. Jump off your right leg and do a right crescent kick to complete the missed leg tornado. Again, slap the sole of the right foot with your left hand. Alternatively, you can switch out the front skip kick with a crescent kick. The slaps are crucial to the aesthetic of this move. Make them loud and pronounced. Also, rhythm is important because this move is a move that is seen and heard. Dragon Whip's Tail achieves its effect when the hits happen in quick succession. For extra credit, mind the positioning of your arms when you're doing this move. That's what really gives this move that kung fu -y look. Well, that was Dragon Whip's Tail, and that was also our first tutorial. Hey, hey, hey guys, I think the ice cream truck is here. I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. Brian, why do you always do this? He's always in the room. Dude, Brian, leave, <laughs> dude. You always interrupt our freaking vlogs. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Hopefully you guys took away some ideas for your own tricking. And if you did, feel free to post your uh, videos in the comments below. And as always, guys, we love your feedback. So if you have any questions or comments in the section below, please. And also, if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, we would really, really appreciate it. But until then, Marshall Club, signing out. No, seriously, let's get ice cream. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Um, after all, we do believe that martial arts did a. Uh, martial arts originated from tricking. <laughs> <laughs>